Hey, how are you? Hey, good. How's it going? Pretty well. You can order whenever you're ready. Okay, I think I know what I want to get. I want to get a 12 layer burrito. A 12 layer? Yeah, so I want to do a 7 layer burrito. <laughs> and then I want to. 5 layer? 7 layer, and then let's add um, black beans. Okay. Onions. Okay. And jalapenos. Okay. Potatoes. Okay. Uh, what are my other options for veggie stuff? Vegetables. Onions, yep, potato, jalapeno, black bean. There's one more. Um, oh, what is it? We oh, uh, pico, pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. That's all right. it. All right, that makes all 12 layers. That's exactly what I want. Anything to drink or for dessert? Nope, that's it. All right, if everything looks correct on your screen, your total's going to be 431. It'd be a pleasure to serve you at the window. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, that, was that, that was rough. You worked through that <laughs> with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. You have a nice Thank day. you so much. Bye. All right, guys. I've got it. The 12 layer burrito. That's a seven layer burrito. And we added five more items that's keeping it strictly vegetarian. Let me find a spot. I'm going to park it and we're going to check it out. Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. I'm here at Taco Bell trying something brand new, the 12 layer burrito, a vegetarian burrito. That's 12 individual items on the Taco Bell menu slammed together in a burrito. I guess you could call this a secret menu item. All it is simply is a seven layer burrito and I added five more vegetarian items coming up with 12 total items. Let's go down the list. Seven layer burrito, of course, and I'm going to have to use my fingers here, comes with refried beans, rice, lettuce, cheese, guacamole, tomatoes, and sour cream. That's all seven. I added five more. Onions, jalapenos, black beans, pico de gallo, and potatoes to top it off, round it off to 12 layers, you guys. The price on this wasn't that bad. $4 plus tax. The normal seven layer burrito comes out to $2.50 and all those little toppings there, 10 cents here, 30 cents there. The most expensive was the potatoes, which was 55 cents. This thing is a heavy deal. It's a big deal. It's the 12 layer burrito. It's not brand new from Taco Bell. You can get this any time of the day, any day of the week. See, they did the seven layer. Be funny, they should have marked that off and put a 12. <laughs> and I was actually surprised, frankly, that they're able to fit all 12 layers in here. It's a big burrito, as you can tell. Let's take a look. I don't really see anything poking out the ends. Looks like it's wrapped up really nice. It's warm. It probably weighs about a pound. Let me know down in the comments below if you like the seven layer burrito. It's advertised as one of the vegetarian options at Taco Bell and I kept it strictly vegan. No, definitely not vegan. Strictly vegetarian. Let's make that very clear. This is not vegan whatsoever. It is all vegetarian, which means no meat. It does not mean no animal products. And to think that you can get 12 different seemingly sensical items that are on the vegetarian line of things, put them together in a burrito, and it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to stop talking here and go on a first bite, big bite of the 12 layer burrito, not brand new from Taco Bell, the seven layer burrito hack. Here we go. First bite, big bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Now I know it's going to look messy in there, but we've got a lot going on, you guys. All the different layers and I can taste everything. I can, of course, see the lettuce, the guacamole, the rice. There's a real big taste of the refried beans. Man, those jalapenos right there are definitely spicing things up, though. It's a nice, actually good mix here of things. I didn't really see any uh, sour cream here yet, but I can feel it right here on the side. It's nice and cold. So I think we're going to get to that fat sour cream bite right there, right in the middle, right in the yolk. Yeah. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. I can see that pico de gallo in there which also adds a level of heat. Of course, we added onions. Still not getting a big sensation of sour cream. I know it's in here somewhere. Maybe it's mixed in between. I'm going to unroll this here. Let's take a look at the 12 layer burrito. You can see we got, like I said, the guac, the black beans, all the ingredients. I don't need to go through the list, you guys. 
Oh man. It's a, just a menagerie of vegetables, toppings, condiments. Where the hell is the sour cream? Am I missing the sour cream? I think that the cold part I was talking about was here, just the guacamole. I think that they missed out on the sour cream, you guys. Oh man, of the seemingly 11 layers that we have here, it's still actually pretty good. It's definitely on the spicier level because I've added the jalapenos and of course the pico de gallo. Both of those together add a nice little kick. Without the sour cream, it obviously isn't as good or as creamy. It's also a little less on the calories. The seven layer burrito surprisingly comes in at a fairly low calorie count less than 500 calories and really the toppings i've added here don't really account for too much probably the most fattening thing would be the little potatoes here you see covered in cheese those in their own right are fantastic you got big jalapeno slices i guess definitely adds a kick to it the guacamole adds that creaminess factor since the sour cream seems to not even be present here Thankfully, I don't know that I could go on this without sour cream and guacamole. I'd probably have to go right back in. I don't think she knew whether or not to hop in the camera frame. <laughs> nice people here at the Taco Bell in Forest City, North Carolina, except they missed out on that key ingredient. But other than that, the taste on here is pretty good. I know a lot of people like the seven layer burrito. And frankly, it's kind of refreshing to come out to lunch, especially at a place like Taco Bell, and get something where meat is not the key component. And it really doesn't lack here. I don't find myself wishing this had beef or steak or chicken or delicious, oh, wonderful Taco Bell meat. No, I'm not missing that at all here. The vegetarian burrito by itself can stand up to the test. The seven layer burrito is a super popular item. Adding some extra veggies here has really just amplified the flavor and the taste and really for an inconsequentially small amount. It was like a dollar and change to add the five additional components. I think on a scale of one to 10, for the 12 layer burrito, I'd probably give it around the same as the seven layer. Of course, the seven layer traditionally would already have the sour cream on it. I can't imagine they would forget that. But all things considered here, I'd have to give it about a six. It was surprisingly spicy actually, and that's what kind of amped it up for me. But it's also a really kind of loose item, and when you take a bite of it, you're just sort of getting, to use the word, a menagerie of ingredients and flavors and although I don't really miss the meat in this, it still doesn't seem to have an overall continuity of a burrito that I would come back time and time again for. However, this is a custom creation, a secret menu item that I came up with. I've heard nobody ever talk about this before. So if it's something that you would like to check out, especially if you like the seven layer burrito, or if you're on a vegetarian kick and you can't get over your fast food desires, head down to Taco Bell, try the seven layer burrito, try the 12 layer burrito. If that's not enough for you, then meat is always waiting for you on the greener side of the pasture shout out to all of my vegetarian subscribers i don't know why you're subscribed but i see it down in the comment section all the time so i appreciate you guys checking out the channel i look forward to checking out other vegetarian options as the channel continues to expand i have some big news coming up i'm going to share with you guys shortly but i think that's it for right now i'm going to go in here on a last bite big bite but as always thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on fast food pit stops I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another fast food review. Bye, everybody. Mmm.